Doesn't come me by surprise. The bruiser weight, Pete Dunn, always ready for a fight. Such an intense focus and drive in this young man. Carl Anderson looking to do right by the club and beat somebody up tonight. Now, whether alone or in tag action, Anderson's skills are too sweet. Wasn't expecting that. Super kick. Good night. Thank you. Imagine we're hitting the late stages I kind of Matthews and Carl Anderson. I don't even really care. Uh, it might just take that extra about, push, yeah. that extra inch further to create the difference. <laughs> Bang! Right in the face. Yeah, that's all it is. Look at Carl Anderson here. A uh, neck breaker. Back inside the ring. An opponent cannot. Yeah, he was only Carl murdered Anderson on impact. Control the tempo of the match. If you let that happen, Carl Anderson will systematically pick you apart By until himself. there's nothing left. Oh, and a knee strike. Anderson leaving yeah. a trail of destruction. Here's Anderson live and up close. He's looking a little off balance. No need to panic. Oh, He's still he kind of expired before that happened. When we talk about savvy veterans, Carl Anderson is always. I don't think he's actually signed a W. I think it's just a one-time thing. Carl Anderson is able to control the pace and flow of the match. His opponent is in for yeah, a long that's... and painful night. If you're a WWE superstar going up against Carl Anderson under no circumstances, yeah. can you let Anderson Girls control the pace of the time. match? You'll be in a whole new world of hurt. Forearms for the second rope, driving down. Now trampling the opposition. Bang right in the mm. face. Dog kick right mm. in the gut. The bruiser weight, Pete Dunn is my kind of superstar. All he wants to do when he gets in the ring is win. Hey, so a particular we, method for winning Willow. is inflicting Willow's as much head. pain and punishment on his opponents as humanly possible in a good yeah, old fashioned way. Joint manipulation. Well, you and I have very different definitions of old fashioned, Corey, and you and I have also very different definitions of what we look for in a WWE superstar. You are also just very old. <laughs> oh no, this isn't going to end well. Man. Surfboard leg breaker by Dunn. Wallows, your biggest disappointment in the uh, revolution here. Me. But oh, sits right on into the armbar. Wallows, your biggest disappointment of the pay per view. Done, not done yet. Continues to punish his opponent. Gonna rip his arm off. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. You know, Byron, while he said it in quite a disturbing manner, Corey might actually be onto something with his adoration. Oh, I would love to to one. This young man approaches I don't mind, well, I don't mind Scorpio Scowling, though, since, you know, his whole thing the at the moment is he's never had to roll off of the title. United I think that's why I don't mind it. And people but my biggest disappointment is definitely Christian. Time, myself <laughs> There's included. <laughs> There's... Sit out, Powerbomb. I don't care for Christian. Him jumping DNA was better than tonight. I'm sorry. You think Vince is going to leave sleep over that? <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, like something that was actually, you know, big that could really hurt the company. But Christian? You know it's funny. All these oh, names, on. no one thought yeah, of Mick Foley. Pete Dunn showing that British strong style. I, I don't think that would hurt a company, but it, it could have been Mick. Carl Anderson with a nice reversal. Kick right to the midsection. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. Things are not looking good for him right now. This is truly awesome. But Christian Cage really all the way. That is just insulting. Someone made a meme. Atheist is all elite. And the atheist would be Christian. The tension. Obviously. The drama. This is I electric. I don't mind memes like that, but some people do, some people don't. It's that could be good or bad. Depending on the people and everything else. 
Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Uh, Pete Dunn measuring his opponent. Hooked him up. All in all, though, thank you. I wasn't too fond of the, um, I don't want to say this, but I was not too fond of the, um, as much as they want to use other divisions, other women's divisions, I, I just can't get behind the women's division at all. I just can't. Momentum is fully in the corner of Carl Anderson now. They don't have a women's division in AEW. I just can't get behind Cheetah versus, um, I felt like. I can't get behind Cheetah. I can't get behind Cheetah versus Ryo. It's... I just, I just can't, you know, it looks like I'm looking for. I just can't really see the women's division being big. I just can't. If the thing with Tess is this, she could easily bring guys to the women's division AEW. She, she could be the big star for them. The dream matches are in the double. <laughs> double E. <laughs> if AEW got Tessa, she could definitely help out the division, but it's like, eh. This is truly a test here to see what Carl Anderson can do. He has to come up with a plan quickly. Yeah, it just makes no sense. Like, a big kind of vision and everything else. Like, eh. Like, really? Yeah, I just can't get behind the women's division. Tag team's different. Tag team's different. Yeah, that's my favorite thing about AEW. It's definitely tag team division. definitely looks off his game here tonight. That'll likely do it, Michael. Two count. Oh yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Ooh, no luck yeah, it's done there. Too quick. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I'll probably be the only person that really do this. Like, gives you a good match to start off. So. I mean, other people will. How you know. People say it's going to be John Cena, though, Brock Lesnar, CM Punk. I'm like, it's, it's going to be Christian Kurt Angle. I need up from the start. Uh, yeah, apparently he's talking. Yeah, but he has talked about a new contract there. Oh yeah, you know he's trying to come in. Well, at least he should. And hard business keeps calling him out. So we were probably going to get Lashley McIntyre, Lesnar Mania, or just Lashley McIntyre, one or the other. Okay, so your opinion: Should Bianca and Sasha main event one out of main this year? Yes or no? You think they should? Okay, the hard fan of the hard fan of the side. 
Do you think it's the main event? Dollar Phantom aside. Okay, so I said this on Twitter. Someone said, and I quote, Sasha Blanca is the biggest match on WrestleMania card. There's nothing else bigger than that, right? I said, so I said, would you rather A, have the girls not main event the show and have a good match, you know, the crowd going hype and everything else? Or would you rather B, have the main event the show and maybe have a dead crowd? Because, you know, it could happen, right? It could. The reporter replied, that's me saying women can't wrestle. So, me saying a dead crowd could happen, me saying women can't wrestle. <laughs> because reasons. So what's your take on that, though? Is Sasha Blanca really the biggest match I could make the show? That's referring to both people too, right? I mean, I just don't think Bianca's ready to the main event as well. I mean, Sasha, Sasha's she made advantage of before, yes. Bianca though, she's still, you know. And I'm, I like both people too, so this is not the end of coming out of me. I'm just like, and I also remember Russell Man 35. Ooh, yeah. That is so awesome. been trying not to pin on lag because you know it takes it from the match and everything else. And it's Pete Dunn answering back. Oh well, I'm not gonna lie, that would have been a pretty nice way to end it though. The, the two sweet and the freaking rocket kick. What's he got in mind? Hate it, but it's like you know, it's in the game. You can't get rid of it. I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, to be fair, you could get rid of it, but it's like I don't. I would risk it. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. They said soon for an announcement or that. Look at this. And here we go. The Boston crowd yeah. So you got the idea now what we do with subs. That's, that's what we do with subs. We just like to toy people, but we're not that no one out there. What we just, yeah, it's all good, I mean. Yeah. It happens, I mean. That's all we do. It's just... 
Go first boss and everything else. Look at this raw power. And also sometimes in fall matches we knocked out the referee. And then technically speaking the league before this one. And someone tapped down, the referee got right up ring the bell. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's like really like, eh, no. Beautifully executed. Stomping away. Oh, kick right in the gut. I might be surprised if Epstein is going for the tag titles. I was not expecting that, to be honest. A striking blow. And the bridge away, Pete Dunn. I didn't think Dark Horse would win at all. I actually thought it would be Private Party or um, a surprise appearance from the Good Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. 